technologies that utilize vertical ocean pipes have been proposed as a means of helping avoid dangerous climate change, either by increasing ocean carbon uptake as a source of renewable energy or a means to store thermal energy in the deep ocean. Studies to date have shown that vertical ocean pipes would have limited impact on ocean carbon uptake, but we really don't understand the atmospheric consequences of vertical ocean pipes, and in particular how they might affect atmospheric temperatures and hydrology. We seek to answer these questions using a global climate model. By increasing vertical ocean mixing in the upper ocean layers, we assess how atmospheric temperatures and hydrology would be impacted in a highly idealized scenario. What our studies show is that although vertical ocean pipes have a large initial cooling effect on near surface temperatures, over time there's a net warming and by within a century we see temperatures are higher than they would have been if these vertical ocean mixing processes had never been introduced. Our simulations show that by affecting the formation of clouds and the prevalence of sea ice, increased vertical ocean mixing in the upper ocean can have a very large effective radiative forcing without having any direct effect on the top of atmosphere radiative balance. In our simulations, the Earth behaves as if it's approaching an equilibrium temperature several degrees warmer than it would have been had these increased vertical ocean mixing processes never been introduced. Our study shows that rather than helping to mitigate global warming, vertical ocean pipes could actually exacerbate warming in the long-term climate system.